Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be diving into a topic that many of us can relate to and that is dealing with a toxic coworker. And you know the type that they can make the very best job feel completely unbearable. But don't worry because I'm here to provide you with some valuable insights on recognizing toxic behaviors and also helping you find some effective solutions. Now, if you find this content helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, you may be dealing with a toxic coworker when you're experiencing a couple of things. And the first is constant negativity. Toxic coworkers tend to bring a cloud of negativity wherever they go, and they're very quick to complain, they're quick to criticize, and often spread pessimism throughout the workplace. Now, the second is undermining and manipulative behavior. If you notice a coworker who is consistently undermining your efforts or just you, takes credit for your work or manipulates the situation to their advantage, it's a red flag. And this behavior can actually create the start of a toxic work environment that actually avoids and hinders collaboration. Now, lastly, gossip and backstabbing. Toxic coworkers often engage in gossip and backstabbing in an attempt to create alliances with others. They camp. They thrive on drama and conflict, which can create a very tense atmosphere and erode trust amongst other team members. Now, you're probably feeling like you just want to get away from this person, but it's highly probable that you're not in a position to do so. So here are two helpful solutions that you can apply right now. First off is communicate openly and honestly. And what that means is, is that you want to engage in a direct and respectful conversation with your toxic coworker, regardless of their behavior. Share your concerns, focus on how their behavior affects you and the team. Keep the conversation very solution oriented and be open to their perspective as well. Now set your boundaries and hold to them. This is the other one. This is my favorite. Establish clear boundaries with this person. Politely decline invitations to participate in gossip or negative discussion of any kind. And by doing so, you're sending a message that you're not willing to engage in toxic behaviors. Now, those are the two best strategies for dealing with a toxic coworker. And remember, it's essential to maintain your well-being and your work environment. Now, before I wrap up, I want to take a moment to talk to you about something exciting, which is our Patreon page, solving people problems. And if you've ever struggled with workplace dynamics, communication hurdles, or difficult workers, coworkers, consider joining my Patreon community, which is called solving people problems. Now, becoming a patron, you'll gain access to exclusive content, live Q and A sessions, and personalized advice to tackle challenges that you face in your professional life. And your support actually enables me to continue creating valuable content like this video and help people like you thrive in their careers. So head on over to our Patreon page. The link in the description is in the description below and join the community and become dedicated to solving your most difficult people problems. So thank you so very much for watching my video on dealing with toxic coworkers. And remember recognizing toxic behavior is the first step towards creating a healthier work environment. Now, by implementing open and honest, honest communication and setting boundaries, you can take control of your situation and thrive at work. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, take care and stay positive.